Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I know y'all heard about Mel B. Um, Mel B, and I think his name is Lewis Walsh. I can pronounce. I cannot pronounce his name. Um, they were doing an interview, and it was Simon Cowell. So you know Simon Cowell from um, uh, American Idol. Um, you know he has the show The X Factor. Um, this clip that resurfaced uh, with Mel B and Lewis Walsh. Um, they said this happened like in 2014. So when I started to Google. I was saying stuff, a lot of the stuff that was popping up was like seven hours ago, eight hours ago, and I'm like, what? And so I get on YouTube and then I started to see clips that said like three years ago, four years ago, so I'm like, okay. And then it finally came out that the clip that resurfaced was indeed uh, something that happened in 2014. So basically, Lewis Walsh and Mel B were doing an interview with Simon Cowell for the show, uh, The X Factor. And uh, he basically was grabbing on her ass. He had, a, he had his hand around her waist. And then he had his hand on her ass. And then she just was like, you know what, girl? This is too much. I'm done. And then he grabbed her ass. He, like, squeezed her ass and then patted, like, patted her ass. And so she gets up and scoots over. And you know what the fuck he does? Girl, he scoots over, too. I said, what in the white privilege shit is this? The simple fact that you literally just sexual, sexually assaulted this woman on camera and then she shows you and tells you that she's uncomfortable and then when she gets over and moves, you get over and move too? <laughs> Baby, if that's not the definition of white privilege, I don't know what the fuck it is, bitch, okay? And the sad thing about this whole situation, one of the sad things about this whole situation is, do you know how many people would have told Mel B that she was a fucking lie if she would have came out and said yeah I, I remember one time I did an interview and this guy you know basically had his hand around my waist and I started to get uncomfortable and so you know I decided to scoot over and you know he grabbed my ass and he patted my ass and this happened all, all on camera you know how many people will say, girl, you lying, girl. Girl, that shit ain't happening. Ain't nobody did no shit like that on no goddamn camera. I'm not going to lie. If I heard somebody say that, I would be like, girl, for real? Oh, my God. You know, like when you first hear a story, you're like, girl, oh, my God. Like, girl, are you lying, girl? And then you'd be like, oh, my God, girl. That shit really happened to you? Oh, my God, that's fucked up. But I feel like a lot of people would have been like, girl, that hoe was lying. Ain't nobody did no shit like that on camera. It's sad that... I don't know. I don't know. And then some people are saying that Lewis Walsh is gay. Let me just say something. I don't know if the man is gay or not. But I, personally, I don't know and I ain't never heard of no gay man having his hand around no woman's waist and patting her ass and squeezing on them and squeezing on her cakes. I don't know none. Now, Lewis Walsh could be every bit of bisexual. Or maybe he, I don't know. But even if he is gay, that, that, that does not give him a right or give him a pass to do shit like that. Now, I will say, as a gay man, we usually do get more passes than a straight man when it comes to, like, women. Like, a, a straight guy could easily say something like, Ooh, girl, them titties is sitting, girl. Um, ooh, girl, them cakes is right. And most women, I'm not going to say all, I'll say most, though won't really get offended especially if you know them you know what i'm saying i'm not saying if you walk into a stranger of course but for the most part if you kind of know them or have some type of relationship like they might just be like oh girl you crazy girl thank you girl because i don't think that straight women take our compliments sometimes as this sexual like it comes across different when a straight man does it like oh baby them, them that ass is sitting Ooh, ooh, baby, them, them titties is right. Like, ugh, why are you doing all that, girl? You're making me uncomfortable. You're not even talking to me. So it's, it's a delivery, and they know that sexually, we're not even worried about y'all. We're just telling you low-key that you're a bad bitch. Um, but I don't want to get too much into that. But, yeah, even if he is gay, it still don't give him the right to, like, grope and grab and sexually assault somebody, girl. Because that's basically what it was. Anyways, um... Girl, oh, and another thing, too. And another fucked up thing is, is when somebody, why, when is it okay 
not to be unprofessional. Like Mel B literally had to sit through that interview, just be like, hey, you need to stop and then continue with the interview. Like, what if Mel B would have been like, hold up, stop. This nigga got me fucked up. He better keep his motherfucking hands to himself. He keep grabbing on my ass. He keep touching on me. And the simple fact that when she told him, hey, dude, calm down. Leave me the fuck alone. He started laughing about the situation. So when is it okay for women to... Because at this point, he's being unprofessional. So when it, is it okay for someone to... Get out of that. Okay, you know what, bitch? We, this professional shit is going out the window because you you on some whole other fuck shit right now. Like the the, the sad thing about it is Mel B probably still still uh, felt at that moment. She probably felt at that moment like, okay, girl, let me just punch through this interview. It's gonna be over in a couple of minutes, and then girl, it's gonna be over with. Instead of probably really saying and doing what she wanted to do, which was probably slap the dog fuck out of him. I don't know. Girl, I'm about to go.